Yeah, and just put enough so that the paper doesn't like come through too much. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, so these are just some examples that could work for the palette. Some, some of them are softer leaning, warmer leaning, cooler leaning, brighter leaning, because just the same way as hair on the fan, you know, there's just different directions, like that looks more cool tone, mm. that's more in the middle, that's a bit softer, that's a bit darker, you know, so the whole range, like color space, just flows, you know, so there's a different, like, a, you know, a different um, uh, selection, basically. So that's basically the makeup front. So you can you can see what they have in common on this bottom half, right? Yeah. Like that one there, the first one that you've got, plays together like it wants to work with the rest of the space. space. If I'm covering these up, you can just mm. see that it's part of the same set. All right, so let's move on to the makeup stuff. Um, uh, shall we start with lipsticks? What have you brought? Yeah, so I only actually own three lipsticks. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have one in like each vague like colour that I thought suited me, but we'll mm -hmm. find out, I guess. Okay, cool. But I have like pink and then I have these two are really strong like stains. They're like, I think, Korean ones, but mm -hmm. I really like them because they stay on all day. Mm -hmm. But I'm a bit scared if I put them on, it might ruin the rest of the lipsticks mm -hmm. yeah i've got red pink and orange. orange okay cool so what i tend to do with lipsticks and blushers and any any kind of color cosmetics is i swatch them onto paper mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i like using either sketch paper like this is a sketch pad or watercolor paper is even better because that's normally not bleached like you can see this looks a little bit gray because of the process they make it with watercolor paper looks a bit more neutrally looking you know more kind of yellow even but i like these because they have a bit of a texture so they grab onto you know greasy and powdery um makeup easier so you get to see the color a bit more true to life like a bit more intense so yeah i think what we'll do is we'll swatch the three lipsticks onto here i like leaving quite a bit of gap between swatch samples because we'll be opening the fan page at putting it either side so we just don't want to accidentally get get it like lip, the fan lipsticky basically so let me just can i just use it oh yeah, yeah. go for it okay let me see. oh so this is a gloss yeah okay so i'll just put a little bit more okay but you just swatch like a large enough amount that it gives you a good idea and then what I tend to do with the fan is like, of course, we can't use the whole fan and we can't put the item on there. Mm -hmm. So I tend to pick not a red shade because we're choosing sort of shades of red. So not a lipstick color, let's say, but something else that we think looks good. So we really love the yellow on you, mm -hmm. don't we? <laughs> and maybe we'll choose like a blue. So we're looking to see like, oh, so if this is our woman, you know, these two strips, like, do we love this lipstick? Like, does this lipstick mm -hmm. look really nice on the woman? What does it look like? Like, especially with these two colors are probably going to be nice. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah, that feels quite nice. Mm -hmm. It looks rich and colorful, but it doesn't look too cool. So it doesn't look like bluey or purpley. And it definitely doesn't look gray. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, and it also doesn't look too bright. You know, like it's not like, oh, wow, so pigmented that it's in your face. So this is... This is very promising. So this is the kind of stuff like once I swatched it on the paper, I'd be keen to try it on because I'd be like, okay, that looks promising. Yeah. And then if it also looks good on the lips, then that's fine. Okay. So can I can I ask you to try that on? Oh, like yeah. put, put some on your lips and then I've got some makeup wipes here so you can wipe it off afterwards before we look at another color. Hmm. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, just put a little bit more. It's fine. It's fine if you have it a bit stronger. And I'm going to get some drapes because I know your dress is slightly off. Just to have you in a good colour. <laughs> Mm 
hang these here and uh, I'm gonna move your hair back okay so just so can, uh, we haven't swatched it yet we'll probably look at that after makeup yeah. sure. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna hide the hair because can you see as uh, as soon as I move the hair the, the face does clear up so I think the yeah. hair probably needs a touch improvement I don't think the shade is off it might be just a bit strong you know mm -hmm. that's, I, don't, I don't think the temperature is wrong but Okay, so that's the lip color. I think that looks nice. Yeah, you know, it nice doesn't color. look too cool or bluey, not too bright. That's that's a really good match, and the fan told us it will be a good match, and it works really nicely on you. So well done, getting your pink one right. <laughs> that one was a gift. So I'm happy. <laughs> oh wow, good gift giver. <laughs> Maybe tell them like, hey, you were really good with this lipstick. <laughs> yeah. Have you got any others? <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, very very good. Right, let's swatch the other ones. Thank you. Should I take this one off? Yes, please. If you wipe it off, please. And then we'll just swatch and check the others. Okay, so it's not if it's not coming off very easily, then I've got a uh, stronger remover. Just needs combining. So you can put a tiny little bit on the on your t tissue and then just kind of pull the rest off. <laughs> oh, you have to put, it's like a child lock, so you have to press down on it. <laughs> Sorry, okay. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll reuse that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It cleans it off nicer, isn't it? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think it's like a two-phase. I think it's literally for very like tinting uh, makeup. Mm -hmm. um, it's two-phase because you have to you have to shake it, but I can't remember exactly how it works. It's um, got it right off. Clinique. It says take the day off makeup remover for lids, lashes, lips, <laughs> and mm -hmm. lips. <laughs> yeah, well, it's really good. Got it off. Yeah, it's good for like one of those like. Um, mascaras that are really like sticking you know because when you start like taking mascara off and you look like a panda yeah. <laughs> and you just keep rubbing your eyes with this you don't have to rub your eyes so hard because um. you can just kind of give it a wipe and it just yanks it off like oh, really easily so it's, it. it's kind of kind of the skin that way yeah. um, I do like to afterwards still wash it because I'm not sure exactly what's in it you mm. know so I don't want that to stay on my skin but it's really yeah. like it helps that you don't have to rub let's see if there is it says allergy tested, 100% fragrance free. Off, off, oof. What's that? Off. Oh, I have no idea what that is. Okay. Ophthalmologist tested. Ophthalmologist. If we're, saying ophthalmologist? That, if we're saying that wrong, maybe like a skin expert. <laughs> it probably something like that. Allergy expert, maybe? Yeah. Gently lifts stubborn eye and lip makeup to use shake well. Apply with a cotton ball, wipe off, rinse before applying makeup. So it does say to rinse. Important, mm. replace cap tightly, yes. <laughs> because yeah, yeah. that'd be the lock on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll save that there because if your other lipsticks are also stain, mm. then this will probably be useful. All right, do you want to do the swatching on the next one and just do it far away from the previous one so we don't like get the, the, the fan dirty? Yeah, and just put enough so that the paper doesn't like come through too much. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. And then choose a couple of colors from the fan. I normally pick the ones that I know like they're really strong colors in me because then they represent you uh, more fully. So I think I picked the yellow. The yellow. <laughs> yeah, and the blue. This, I think I picked the second yellow and then uh, I think it's it was blue. this this kind of blue, yeah, which was actually very similar blue to your top. Do you remember? Yeah, it's like it's the kind of blue I always buy because mm -hmm. like, I just really like. Yeah, it. I do think that these 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 here are really good representations. So, what, what are you thinking? Um, 
Is, is it, it as good as the pink? No, not as good as the pink. What's different think. about it? It's more of like a burnt orange, like compared to the pink. Like it's got more of a. It feels stronger, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if it's like maybe a bright spring or something that has a little bit more intensity because it doesn't look so grey, like, yeah. you know, as if it was autumn. It might still be a spring category, mm -hmm. but it definitely has a like a darker depth to it. So I'm thinking, okay, it's not a light intensity. Mm. Um, it's something else. So I feel like it will probably f look this kind of rich and strong on your lips, but can we try it on and then have a yeah, look? Yeah, yeah. drapes in the meantime. Oops, sorry. <laughs> very much like we've seen with the fan as well that it just looks very strong right like yeah. it doesn't look like it's gray it's definitely mm. pigmented but it just feels a little bit too strong for your coloring so it, it kind of starts bringing on that mean look you know that's strict stern yeah that's telling me it's probably bright spring kind of area because it looks like maybe winter is influencing this shade in some way mm. it could be an autumn color you know a really really bright one i don't know but it definitely doesn't look gray too much so that it looks kind of dull on you. But it, if anything, it just looks a bit strong, isn't it? Yeah, it's very strong. Yeah. So I think we can probably find shades of orange that is not so kind of in your face because this will be all about the lips, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you please write that off? Yeah. You, you might need to use this two phase okay. again. <laughs> Feel free to just use more wax. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it stayed on your lips. <laughs> mm, it's very stubborn. <laughs> it's so good, this remover, isn't it? It's really good. Yeah, it's still a little bit there. <laughs> like the preclips, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's, it's almost off. Yeah. Maybe just get a fresh wipe, just, yeah. just in case you're like putting some more back on. Um, and then the way I actually do it is like I put the wipe on top of the opening of the bottle, tip it over oh. and back that way, because that way you can just kind of control it easier. looking mm -hmm. pretty good now. Yeah, we okay. go. Okay. Okay, great. So what else have you got? You've got the red one. Yeah. So let's switch that onto the paper again. Maybe far away again here in the end. <laughs> it's very red and very strong. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be so <laughs> so dark. Because the lid is much brighter, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, okay. It really stays your lips like all day. Oh dear. Okay, well let's let's swatch it. Let's use the fan and don't don't get the colour on the fan. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> be careful. Gosh. Yeah, yeah this away. is this is why I, I, I swatch the lipsticks far away like quite far apart from each other because uh, I don't want to accidentally, on the fan. <laughs> yeah, not this kind of hard staining one because regular lipsticks you can kind of wipe off with a makeup wipe and it should be fine. Mm. The top part is sort of coated so you can wipe off things easily. The back part is just regular canvas so mm. that will probably remain sort of stained. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's move it to these lighter ones which is where I think your nice colours are. But yeah, you do the analysis on this, you tell me what you think. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really go. Um, 
It's very, very dark mm. in contrast. Um, Possibly a bit cool as well. Yeah. Really yeah. heavy. That you can almost see like some really dark colours coming through, like deep reds mm. or like, yeah, close to You know what it reminds me of? Like vampire-y kind yeah. of, you know, like is, if yeah. you are having that on your lips, it, it probably looks like you ate someone for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have been told that before when I had it on. Really? Um, I think it, the style, when I got it, like it's been quite a, like a year or two years now, was to put it in the centre of the lips and have it like a gradient that like spreads out. Oh wow, like the so Korean, it looks like, like blood. Is. <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> well, I tell you what, if it looks awful as a, like a standard nicening lipstick, <laughs> you can keep it for Halloween, right? Yeah, yeah definitely, or like very bold costume looks. It will sell the story. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's put it on your lips and see what happens. And then we just have to like remove it yeah, again. I can so, never take it off. Yeah, we'll, we'll try not to keep it on for too long. I do it with my finger so it's not as well. Okay, I'm gonna get some drapes. <laughs> my finger. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, it looks better on your lips than on the paper, so that's promising, but then you applied it much thinner than you did on the paper. Yeah, I had applied it quite thin. Okay, so let me just add. And I'm going to move your hair out of the way so we can really see the effect. Sorry. Okay. So, what's your analysis? Yeah, it seems to be, it's a lot more muted because I have like quite a thin layer. Yeah. Um, Still a little bit strong. Mm. Nowhere near as bad as it, it looks on the, pa on the paper. Yeah. So that's good. And this is why you always have to swatch it on paper, but then also check it on your face. Mm. Don't just assume if something looks good on the paper, it will look good on your face because it, it can go on your, you know, like there could be chemical you know, reactions with like whatever is in your on your lips, you know, with the item just so many things are at play so it's nice to try it on but for me it's still a little bit stern can mm. you see it's got that feeling but nowhere near as a sort of vampire is yeah you pro but if you applied it thicker like yeah on the paper, it could be you could very certainly red, do think. halloween with it yeah <laughs> but i wouldn't do it sort of like a daily thing for the office it's not as fresh is yeah. it it's definitely kind of yanking up red to the surface of the face isn't it mm. all right i think we should remove it first before it stains forever <laughs> very bad with child locks. <laughs> oh, hang on. I think it's separating. Can you oh, see? Oh, yeah. It does need shaking. Sorry. I think something activates when you shake it and that's what kind of does the sure removal. Is it like... Yeah. Just like... I'm not scared of the lid. Like, I don't want it to spill. It's not an easy one. I don't know what's in it, but there's for some reason there's a child lock for it, so it can't be. Can't be great. <laughs> yeah. It does get it off though. Mhm. Mm yeah, I'm pretty sure it's formulated for this kind of, like harder staining, things. That's kind of sticking on a little bit, so it might take a few guns. Gosh. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a few extra lipsticks just so we can try in a few more things. Right. I've got like a, I'm going to put this here. I think these are mostly dry now, so it should be okay. Right, so. So these are just some 
examples that could work for the palette. Some, some of them are softer leaning, warmer leaning, cooler leaning, brighter leaning, because just the same way as hair on the fan, you know, there's just different directions like that looks more cool tone, mm. that's more in the middle, that's a bit softer, that's a bit darker, you know, so the whole range, like color space, just flows, you know, so there's a different, like, a, you know, a different um, uh, selection, basically. Okay, so let's swatch a few on here. Um, okay, can't remember what which one's which. I don't see that many light springs. <laughs> okay, let's try this one first. I reckon this is quite similar to that. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite stain. similar color. Yeah, so let me let me swatch that. You're basically doing a very similar thing, but it looks like a very, very similar color. Mm. Maybe a touch pinker. Like that one is a bit more medium. Can you see? Yeah. This one is ever so slightly pinker, so a tiny bit cooler. So if we were to look at your red strips, then um, yeah, they both probably correspond to this warm end. But this one is a little bit more pigmented, like a little bit darker, yeah. possibly. Um, it could push it to the cool side for you, like it could push it too near a uh, light summer, but let's just see. Let's just see if it's a good temperature, like if you can balance. Have you used a lip brush before? <laughs> um, I don't think so. But... You basically, it just helps you control the application, plus it's easier to clean because then you just have to clean the brush and you don't have to kind of sanitize your lipsticks all the time because when when you keep putting it on your lips like some you know bacteria just transfers and eventually it just expires the items oh. faster you know it oxidizes it faster so i tend to use you know for easy sanitation just a lip brush uh, and then that allows you to kind of control the level of application and you can just wipe with a wipe in between so yeah just like a painter <laughs> quite fun ready okay so we'll put a tiny a little bit more I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe in between okay so we'll put a bit more on here we go just so we can see like a full application as if you were to kind of put it on from the tube but you can balance how opaque you like it but let me get some drapes tone pink but still warm enough that it's got that sort of sunshine feel uh, definitely nowhere near as strong as like the orange and the red one was so it's the perfect intensity for you possibly I prefer to stop maybe where your lip your lip gloss was you know like I feel like that's plenty on the cool end for you mm -hmm. like if you were leaning towards light summer more but I feel like you were really strongly in the springs this is possibly like a little bit on the pink side but if you do end up finding like let's say a dress that has like light spring and light summer colors you know like then this is the kind of thing that might just kind of tie it together because it's right on the border mm -hmm. it's still very friendly it's not yanking up all that red to the surface or any kind of discoloration it's the hair that i feel like it keeps adding quite a lot of strength in but when i tie it back can you see it just looks fine mm -hmm. but it's definitely on the cool end like you couldn't go cooler than this yeah but it's a good darkness level, it's a good colourfulness level, can you see? It just reads kind of naturally in that, in that way in the face. And then, yeah. What do you think of it? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it for like a fuchsia lipsticks, this, this, is, this is the way you can do it. Like, mm. there's, yeah, there's, there's no other kind of proper fuchsia way to do it. This would be your version of the fuchsia. Mm. Yeah, and this one is a Revlon one. So these, I mean, some luckily a lot of lipsticks can be cheap. So experimenting with them yeah. is is quite easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, it's called Sweet Tart Zero Nine Zero. 
Mm. <laughs> is that in boots usually, is it? I think so, yeah. And I think a lot of these are sort of standard ranges, like not, you know, like where they carry mm. for oh, a long time. Easily too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of these. I don't keep staining ones because <laughs> I just find them a bit too, too much. Okay, so let's try this one next. Oh, that one's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is a bourgeois one, which is also a boots, like a high street brand. Where's the color name? Um, ooh, where's, oh, it's here on the lid. The color name is Peach on the Beach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a chubby stick. Of course, you just apply it normally like this, but I'll put it on the brush for you. Thank you. Um, okay. And then while I do that, can you swatch it with the fan and let me know what you think? So nice, right? It's really pretty. Mm. Yeah, it really goes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let's see what your face says about it. <laughs> Proof is in the pudding, <laughs> slash in the face. <laughs> okay, we might have to do a few layers because this is like a creamy chubby stick basically, so not a proper full coverage Thank lipstick. You. So I tried putting on quite a lot. Yeah, that's a good amount. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Quite fresh. Okay, let me get some drapes so we can see it um, in context. Oh, wow. So fresh, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's really obvious when it matches. Mm -hmm. And, and you can see the better it matches with the fan, mm. the nicer it comes up on your face. So this is why almost like the scoring system is really helpful because you can hold that in your mind thinking, okay, you know, this is like a proper 10 out of 10, you know, kind of experience. And that's what it will look like on the face. Like it's plenty pink, it's plenty colorful, it's plenty soft and, you know, like it's everything that your coloring needs. Yeah. Not overpowering and it allows your face and eyes, everything to glow without your lips kind of disappearing, right? Mm. That's lovely, right? I really like it. <laughs> Let me just get a pink as well because I think there's, there's I've got a pink drape just like that. Or similar anyway. Did I? I think I did, yeah. This one. <laughs> oh wow. Look at that. <laughs> so nice, right? Yeah, it's really nice. Mm. Look how like radiant the face is. Mm. Yeah. And all of that redness, everything just kind of settles. Of course, we're a bit hot here with the lights and everything, you know, but it doesn't pull up this sort of um, disconnectedness type of um, red, which yeah. is what we normally struggle with, isn't it? When, yeah, it just blends in. And yeah, so nice. And it, you're in the full glow, you know, like your radiance is what we're focusing on, you know. Nice. <laughs> Okay, let's try another one. So I think you should write the name of this one then. Cause this, yeah, I like this one. Yeah, you should definitely pick this up. I, I think it was relatively cheap as well. I can't remember exactly, but yeah. Yeah, I can um, get a pencil right oh, there. Yeah. yeah, if you write it next to the color, then you can probably just take the sheets. Which one is it? Uh, uh, peach on the Beach. Yeah, Peach on the Beach Bourgeois Color Boost. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we done those two. Okay, let's go even more orange. <laughs> I'm doing a system here, as you can see, going from the cooler to the middle to the warmer end, because this way we can kind of like also jumping 
mm. um, through the, your range to see like what's going on. So why don't you swatch that so it's not quite as light as that? You know, yeah. it's a little bit more similar to that in terms of darkness and intensity. Not as intense and strong as that. Can you see? Mm. So this is kind of like the sort of milkier, lighter, less intense version of an orange. This is basically like an orange for you. Okay. Let me get someone there for you. This is a Revlon, Revlon brand. So again, just from the high street. Yeah, it's quite nicely. Yeah. So it's not overpowering like that one is. Yeah. It has a kind of gentler look. Shall we see it on your face? Thank you. <laughs> it's a lot more muted than the other one. Yeah, yeah. And it looked it with the fan, do you remember? Yeah. So it it will correspond very similarly of how it comes up on you. So that should give you a good indication of like the feeling. Yeah. And it's nice when you're not wearing like, you know, the brightest. And especially I think people are often looking for a sort of like slightly understated kind of option for lips. Mm. So let's see. Let's see. were wearing some kind of a peach outfit <laughs> oh, that's really nice. you know just kind of like it's enough for it and it's not like you need a super bold lip to go it's something a bit more gentle and I'm just gonna take your hair back so we can really see just the colors yeah it's nice isn't it yeah. so this is your warm end any warmer than this and you're gonna start like jumping into probably true spring mm -hmm. and that might start to bring out yellowness you know so you just kind of need to be careful that it doesn't look overly warm this is basically like the limit yeah yeah it looks plenty warm enough like but it still doesn't read orange on you it's still, it's still like a nice pinky, pinky. Yeah. yeah yeah but this is your sort of your version of um i don't know how you would combine it i'm guessing like I quite like it with like maybe something a bit icy or something. Mm. How's that? You know, just kind of ge a gentle look, isn't it? A bit more elegant. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this is, this is a bit too tropical, isn't it? <laughs> to <go there. laughs> like you look like a, a fruit, you know, <laughs> leaves and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I reckon sometimes like reds often go nicely together. Like you can probably do an orange and a pink like successfully like mm. that what do you think yeah that's probably a nice combo yeah oops that is a bag <laughs> yeah i love this color it's mm. gorgeous yeah it goes really well yeah and here you can see it's like real color here we're seeing a little bit of your dress but mm. if i fold it like on your skin it shouldn't show mm. the dress through so it's actually quite a nice tone it just looks a bit grayer where you've got your dress because yeah. you can't really we can't really ask you to take that off for this. <laughs> <laughs> that would be ultimate, but it will be a little bit more <laughs> uh, intrusive. <laughs> yeah, but that's lovely, isn't it? Mm. And now that we're seeing the colours come together, can you see that the hair is actually a little too bright? You know, the, mm. the, the dye shade that you're using. It's probably a good temperature, but I feel like it's strong, like almost bright spring or something. Mm. You know, like really intense looking. Yeah. Because every time I pull it back, suddenly that's really helping. Can you see? It it's just pops really. Off. Yeah, it really allows the face to kind of feel and breathe. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have a look at that after the makeup session. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So. These ones. Yeah. So we've done the very cool end, bang in the middle, the really warm end. So I probably now just have some kind of, do you want to write this down, the, the color? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> because then we just have a look at sort of like the in-between, the diff again, different ones. I like to, I like to... Ironically, I think I actually used to own this. Oh, did you? I really recognize the packaging. I don't think the color was the same though. I think I had like an orange version of it. All right. I think the color is um, written on the bottom for that one.
Yeah, I don't think I had this. Which one is this? Oh, rendezvous. Hmm. All these French words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of their naming is French. Yeah, is Revlon French? Possibly. I think it might be. Yeah, yeah. so that, that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see what I've got here. I'll put it on this end. <clears throat> oh, it's gorgeous. So it's not as warm and as orange as the, e the edge that we just tried. Mm. And of course, it's not as sort of in the middle pink like the peach on the beach from Bourgeois, which is normally like the standard, everyone can wear it from light spring kind of color, you know, because it's in the middle, you know. Um, this is sort of in between the two. Can you see? Yeah. But but not as light as this. So I would say it probably has the darkness level of the one that you just had, but just a little bit pinker. So this will be an interesting one to see. I reckon this is possibly more um, in your like in in this in where you're centered. Okay. Oh yeah, this suits them really well. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Mm, nice. Would you like some more in there or is it enough? Uh, that's lovely, right? Yeah, it's really nice. Wow, I think that's the right amount, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm, wow. Back on there. Thank you. Yeah, it's oh, a wow. really nice colour. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's get some drapes on you. Actually, let's do these ones. It tastes really nice as well. I don't <laughs> it's like a really nice smell to it almost. Lips. Yeah, so this one is from Mary Kay. Have you heard of have you heard of Mary Kay? Okay, so it's it's like a cat it's like Avon, a catalogue brand. Mm. But they do have a web shop. So Avon, normally you just have to have a consultant who brings you the things. Yeah. With them, I'm pretty certain they have a rep shop. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got them like meeting with the consultant, but I was getting a lot of them for my, my consultations, you know. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you, I'm pretty sure you can just... Also mm -hmm. online, they have a list of consultants, so you can just contact them and say, oh, hey, can I have one of this? You know, and they yeah. just post it to you. So it's like super, oh, wow, look at that. It's a really nice shade. Yeah, you definitely need to get that one. <laughs> okay, let me put the hair back. Wow. It's the perfect pink for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Mm. Yeah, like bright enough without it looking overpowering, not, you know, like it just does it like in a really nice way. Mm. How do you feel about your face with all this nicety? Yeah. I really, this is my favourite one, I think. Mm. It's really nice. Yeah, let's write it down, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Mary Kay. And I think the colour name is again on the bottom. Oh, yes, yeah, Tangerine Pop. Tangerine Pop, yes. It doesn't look very tangerine. <laughs> Very nice. And the bullet is, I think you would just press it from the top oh, in yeah. case you don't know. Like I was thinking, how do I open this? You know, it's like pressing it from the bottom. Like yeah. You just press on this glass part. Oh. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, what else? Okay, so I've got another Mary Kay one. This will be an interesting one to try on. I'm going to do it at the bottom here. This is a little bit brighter and more colourful, but this might be a bit more of a party colour. More on the pink end, but not as pink as this, so this is kind of in between these two, can you see? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just jumping through the range with you. <laughs> okay. It's quite nice applying product with lip brush, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you just have better control, isn't it? Okay, these... Are a little bit sort of denser so it takes a bit more to get it off oh okay and i probably need to give it a um a sharpening okay 
think I've got enough on, but have a look, we can always put some Thank more. You. Nice, right? Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> so that's obviously more pink than the one that you just tried on. Mm -hmm. Looks a lot more sort of ballet, right? Yeah. But in the light spring way. So more like that. girly. Yeah. Kind of like a date night type color, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Shall I find you some date night colors? <laughs> Ooh, maybe... Like you could possibly wear something like nice and dark with it, like a bit more sort of mm. elegant, like that. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> wow. Very date night, right? That one's really nice. Mm. Wow. And this is the whole point of the color analysis, is that you get to see your face radiant. We don't have any other makeup on. We mm. literally just put a little bit of lipstick nothing else and we've got a nice drape color because when I remove the drape just look what happens to your skin yeah it's a little bit more patchy the lipstick lifts it but not enough to kind of counteract the reflections from the dress but as soon as we put your colors on shh, yeah it's so nice so strange that I don't have makeup on but just kind of look when looks they do. nice and even yeah and I feel like once we sort out your hair as well so let me just pull it backwards a bit so we see a tiny bit more of your roots just so you can see how how much brighter that mm. your hair adds to it I feel like it's just a little bit bright but if I'm pulling it right back look how much more it's lifting the face even can you yeah. see yeah because your natural color is a bit softer can you see mm. so growing it out I feel like will really help that's so smooth. You might. This is also a Mary Kay one, so maybe get both of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at your teeth as well. Just so pearlesque, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy how everything starts shining. Mm-hmm. Really nice. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the fun part at the end, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really enjoying the makeup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. Thank you. Okay. Very cute and everything. Yeah, it's like the cor corally colours. Really mm -hmm. pretty. Like that one. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So, the only colour that I've got left that I wanted to show you it's the name of it is sheer natural and the color is super interesting like unusual for springs it's a nude Ooh. Have a look i really like that though it's really nice can you see but it's got that sort of clean look about it mm. so it's like a red that has been really paled right mm. and some people like the sort of nude lip look some people don't like the nude lip look but it's an interesting one to try on anyway yeah. and it's not so easy for springs to find a nude that doesn't look too gray because most of the nudes are very sort of autumny sometimes summery like the movier ones mm. so hard to find spring ones so i really like this one and it's also a natural brand um so yeah i think yeah, it's fragrance free and all that. I can't exactly remember the specifics, but I just thought, oh, it's a nice brand too. Yeah. So, let's um, if you swatch that with your fan, just to see see how you would see, how you would find a nude with the, with your colors, and see how it looks next to that one. I'm gonna put some on your brush. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Right? Yeah, it does. Because it has the warmth without it being overpowering. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes dependent on how dark your skin is, like this might not be the right darkness of nude, you know, if it like makes your lips disappear too much, but it's an interesting one to try on, I feel like, because this kind of gives you the permission to not discard or discount looking at things like that, you know, but it's definitely been a trend, hasn't it? The nude lip. Yeah. Yeah. So for springs, it was like a no go, <laughs> but 
But when I saw this, I was like, this is this is not an autumn nude. I'm going to see what yeah. this is doing. I've never had a nude lipstick, so it might be like an instinctive thing to just be like, no, nah, that doesn't suit me. Yeah, it might be like that way, but it's yeah. such an interesting one to try. And so I normally just offer it just, just as an exploration. <laughs> I think it's a wedding trend, isn't it? The nude lip. Mm. It's kind of look quite pink on me. Yeah, shall I put a, a second layer? I might have to, yeah. yeah. I think my lips have gone very red as well from. Yeah, and this is a off. paler colour than. Yeah, mm. so we might have to do a few layers of this. Yeah, I can see a bit of it there. Mm -hmm. What I can see is nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm always hunting for like unusual for different seasons because. Yeah, like for example, rustier colors, you know, that are clear enough for spring, you know, like mm -hmm. because that one was a bit too strong for light spring, you know, but yeah. that's kind of like your version. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm always sort of trying to look out for the, un the unexpected. Yeah. The nude spring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, good. You can now see it. Oh wow, I love it. It's kind of like a wedding lip, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a, a pinky nude. Uh, yeah, well on you it comes up like that. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because, you're, because you're warm oh, enough. Like on, on a cool tone person it might come up brownish. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> How's that? I love it so much. Okay, let me get some drapes for you. That's to see it in context. Color. It's an interesting I'm a one bit to in love with this one. <laughs> I mean, you've been like that with every single <laughs> every single lipstick, <laughs> except maybe my own vampire one. <laughs> yeah, no, that one was even the orange one, the one that you brought. I think it was too much. Yeah. Okay, let's do red and white. <laughs> oh wow! It's a nude lip, you know, so it's not colorful like your um, other colors. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just kind of like a, a fresh light spring wedding colour. You know, little flowers, the dress. And of course this is a little see-through. So you, we, we're seeing your greyish dress, which is not optimal, but if I fold part of it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Let's magic this together. Like you can now see the colour. Yeah. And then, let's pretend these are just flowers. <laughs> and then I'm just going to move your hair back again, just so you can read, because it's quite a delicate colour, so we don't want anything too bright in there. What do you think? I love it. Nude lips. It's really nice. Without yeah. it looking grey. So that's mm. the whole point. Not, not everyone will be into it because people don't like when the contrast reduces between mm. their lip and their skin tone. Your skin is relatively light, so I think it still your lips still show up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that really kind of pale, delicate look. Yeah. Certainly if you're applying, a, like, layering light colours, this I think this works. Yeah, it shows up really nicely against mm -hmm. the white. Yeah. And still no other makeup, just that. Yeah, it's weird to think I don't have foundation on. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but the right colours will even your skin tone enough that you don't have to worry about like so much time putting on makeup. It mm. might be literally as much as, as little as putting some good colours on, throwing a little bit of lipstick. Maybe if you've got any like breakouts or anything, like a bit of concealer here, here mm. and there, or even just like a translucent powder to kind of just like even a slightly bit the skin without any concealer or foundation, you know, and then out you go. Yeah. That's cute, isn't it? I really like it. <laughs> and now I'm going to let your hair down just so you can see how strongly it comes in. Can you see? Mm. It's overpowering everything in the picture. Yeah. So this is probably a good time to talk about the hair. Uh, I'm going to get some hair charts out, but because look, can you see the stern look kind of entered a little bit? Uh -huh. So I reckon that your hair color looks like it's, it's a nice warm shade, but I feel like you might have gone a little too bright with it, like a bit too dancing into bright spring space. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll use the color fan for, to swatch some clothes, but my recommendation would be to try and grow out your natural hair color if you can. 
or just balayage into it, you know, just like strips. So it's not a full coverage because if you if if they get it wrong, you know, yeah. even if you have a consultation and you explain to them exactly how you want it, it may not still show up. Like hair hair chemi- chemistry is not as simple or straightforward, you know, like different hairs, you know, can react to the same dyes differently. And people, most people don't do patch tests, do they? You know, mm. you don't go to the hairdresser, they do a little strip check it. That's uncommon, you know? Yeah. So you can. I think you can ask them, like, can we do a little patch test, like, here? So you can then, luckily your hair is long enough, you can bring it forward, hang it in and see if you like it. Like, you can have one shade here, one shade there, and then just check, you know, before you actually get the whole thing coloured. So that's definitely possible. You just just have to ask. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah, lovely, right? (laughs) Yeah, I really like it. Okay. Well, yeah, why don't you write the name of that one down as well? Okay. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'm going to get the hair swatches. I think it is, yeah, I think I've got Autumn Sunset, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, the sheer natural is just the finish, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. And then Autumn Sunset is the... Um, the colour. The colour. Which yeah. is ironic, because it's light spring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it does have the sunsetty look, isn't yeah. it? It's more like a spring sunset. If oh, you look at it off, actually. Yeah, if you're looking at it, it, it looks more like a spring sunset, doesn't it, than an autumn mm. one. An autumn one would be, like, more toasty and... Yeah. Heavier, spicier. Yeah. It's just incorrect naming. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so that was all the lipsticks. So that's basically the makeup front. So you can you can see what they have in common on this bottom half, right? Yeah. Like that one there, the first one that you've got, plays together like it wants to work with the rest of the space space if I'm covering these up you can just mm. see that it's part of the same set yeah but they all have that sort of ice creamy look right you know that yeah. sort of whitened down look and if I'm holding the fan pages up and I'm just looking you know that those are the colors that want to walk directly on the fan these ones here they're mm. saying oh no that's way too loud right <laughs> yeah yeah definitely yeah so would you like to keep this sheet so you got all the references all right i'll give you a second sheet as well so that they don't get like they don't color each other here we go so if we put another one on top then you can fold it (laughs) oh thank you yeah then sort of coloring each other they're mostly dry now but yeah so you can now fold it to however you want to transport it